Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The wait is finally over and the community patch 4.0 is here for everyone to enjoy. Now let me start off by saying that none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for these guys who have, who have helped me make this version of the community patch. Uh, their names are going to be on the screen and all the credit goes to them. Now, I have not done much to the community patch so if you see these guys around, please make sure to thank them for what they have done to the community as they have done the vast majority of the work on them. Now, I haven't done much, so you should credit them instead. Uh, but yeah, their names are going to be in the description and I'll uh, show their names on the video. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install the community patch in general and explain a few things that people might get confused about. But long story short, if you're familiar with the community patch updates and you have the community patch installed, the only thing you need to do is replace your patch.txt in your binaries folder, and that's it. Now, you just gotta go to your binaries, which uh, if you have already installed the community patch, be familiar with, it's this. It's this right here. Uh, programs, team, team apps, common, uh, and binaries. And yeah, you just uh, go ahead and uh, put that in there and just replace it. And this does include all the previous versions of the community patch, so you don't have to worry about that. Community patch 4.0 does contain all the previous versions. And this version of the community patch we also made existing custom items optional that are off by default that you can enable with the filter tool. This includes existing weapons like the flare, uh, big thumper, uh, the, the knot, and you know, all the all the custom stuff is uh, basically what I mean. And don't worry, they're not gone, but they're uh, made optional. That means that they're off by default, but you have to enable them using the filter tool. Uh, so, the first thing you need to do is you need to download the filter tool, which I will link in the description. And you just go ahead and direct download all of this. So you don't need to look at them individually. And what that's gonna do is just give you the zip file and just go ahead and download it there. Uh, and, that, and then you just uh, extract it after it's done. And uh, yeah, there, there you go. Uh, after, uh, the filter tool, yeah, let me just explain what the filter tool is. The filter tool is basically a checklist for all the features in the community patch, allowing you to pick and choose which features that you want to include uh, in your custom version of the patch. But the filter tool can also do an important thing, and that is enables you to on the community patch in game, which is a process called hex editing, and where hex editing can enable you to edit the game to make it so you don't have to say the commands in in-game chat, but to console directly enables you to execute the feature of the community patch. Now, with that me explain what that is. Uh, there you go. Now, uh, one thing to note is that uh, you're gonna have to have Java installed to run, this, to run this jar file now. Uh, WinR will also tell you to open it with WinR, but open it with Java. That's how you're supposed to do it. And it'll just have this big thing that you have to read, which is uh, for the first times. And it'll tell you to hex edit your borderlands. And if you want to enable your pre-sql one too, and then you have to select uh, your console key. It can be either of those, but it does that default. Now I've already done the process, so there you go. And then it'll just launch, and there you go. This is the community patch, patch 4.0. But yeah, it'll ask you questions, and if it can't find your binaries uh, directory for whatever reason, you can just, uh, you c it, it's, it should be right here. Uh, and you should just go to Win32 and select your borderlands2.exe. That's how it should be done. It sh your borderlands2.exe uh, should be located here. And this also should work for Mac and Linux, although it hasn't been tested, but in theory it should work. Now, I'll be showing you how you can enable the optional features and the community patch as well. 
Uh, should be simple. You see these optional replacements uh, modules. Now, all of these are off by default. Uh, now, we included a few things like the Emperor, replacing it with Torrent, Legendary Pointman, or Legendary Grenadier, and uh, we, include, we re enabled some things. So, uh, for example, let's say I want the movement speed relic. All I have to do is uncheck the original one and check the original one. You can't check both of them at the same time because they modify the same thing. And yeah, there you go. And I can just choose the knot if I want to. And that's how basically you select the optional things and then you just uh, save patch and that should be it. I'll be also going through over, over the change log in another video because this community patch has 180 changes. And I can, now I, I can just enable uh, this and whatever, screw you. Now, yeah, these, these are the guys which uh, you guys should definitely check out because uh, I haven't done most of the community patch. These are the guys you should give credits for. As you can see, uh, we have modified a huge section of loot in the community patch as well. This includes all the other things. Anyways, I'll show you how you can execute the community patch in game now. After you exited everything, you should launch the game. And yeah, just click play and you do the you, you do your regular things. Uh, and then uh, you should click your console key, which shouldn't be F6, it should either be tiled or F6, depending on which one you set it to. I uh, have sound disabled, uh, which is why I don't have any sound, but uh, should be as uh, doing that and then typing out this command. And what that should do is execute the community patch. And as you can see, I'll step in here so I can show you that it worked. Uh, and there you go, see, uh, pot of gold enabled. We did modify the pot of gold and, you know, the chairman doesn't look like shit. So that's how you know it worked. And all my relics look fancy as hell because, yeah. And then I have the movement speed relic too because I enabled it. And there you go. Uh, that should be everything. So, uh, again, I give major credit to those who have helped me make this a thing. And, yeah, uh, be sure to spread this video around. And, yeah, uh, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.